your electrophoresis gel and apparatus will be provided as shown. Check to see that the wells in the stacking gel are in good condition. Carry the electrophoresis apparatus to the sink and invert it to remove any remaining liquid from the wells. Return the apparatus to your work area and use a Pasteur pipette to fill the wells with tank buffer. Carefully force the liquid from the Pasteur pipette into the wells with some velocity to ensure that any unpolymerized gel components are swept out of the wells. Pour running buffer into the top reservoir to bring the liquid level to approximately 0.5 centimeters above the notch in the white plate. Pour running buffer into the lower reservoir to cover approximately the bottom 1 centimeter of the gel holder. The gel contains 10 wells, each of which will be loaded with a solution. The wells are identified numerically as number 1 through number 10, starting with number 1 on your left as you face the front of the gel. With an elongated tip on the pipetter, you will be loading 60 microliters of solution into each well. Insert the tip into the well within 2 millimeters of the bottom of the well, taking care to avoid pressing the tip into the gel. Very slowly, force the solution from the pipetter tip into the well while holding the automatic pipetter steady. Use your free hand to support and guide the tip. The blue solution should form a layer at the bottom of the well but not mix with the running buffer. Only go to the first stop on the pipetter. Slowly withdraw the tip before releasing thumb pressure on the pipetter to avoid disturbing the solution at the bottom of the well. Practice your loading technique using the practice gel before loading your own gel. If, when practicing, you find it difficult to load 60 microliters without overflowing the well, adjust the pipetter to deliver 55 microliters instead. Try to fill the wells, but it is more important to not overflow them, even if that means you do not deliver all of the solution that is in the tip. For illustrative purposes, lanes 3 through 5 and 8 through 10 of this gel were loaded with only 55 microliters. Just try to be consistent and load the same volume in each well. Place a protective cover over the electrophoresis apparatus. The power supply should be off at this time. Attach the red cable to red on the power supply and attach the black cable to black on the power supply. Clean any spilled liquid from around or on the electrophoresis apparatus. Then request that your instructor inspect the setup. Turn on the power supply and adjust it to provide a constant current of 33 milliamps. Press the running man button to start the electrophoresis. A band of bromophenol blue tracking dye should form quickly across the stacking gel and move down through the resolving gel. Running time typically is somewhere between 30 minutes and 1 hour. While the gel is running, locate and label several containers two for the gels, and one for the nitrocellulose membrane. For the gel containers, place the label on the side so that if the lids are removed, the gels won't get mixed up. Conclude the run when the blue tracking dye in the lanes begins to run off the bottom of the gel. Stop the run, turn off the power supply, and disconnect both wires. Remove the cover from the electrophoresis apparatus. Carry the apparatus to the sink and invert it to discard the running buffer from the two reservoirs. Tilt the upper reservoir back and pull up to separate it from the base. Remove the clamps and detach the gel support chamber from the apparatus. Place the disassembled apparatus in the labeled wash bin, stacking the back piece in the provided rack. You should not, and do not, need to rinse them. 
Lab prep staff will perform proper cleaning. Gently insert a spatula a short distance between the plates along one of the edges and very gently pry the glass plate away from the gel. The gel will initially stick to both plates but should adhere more tightly to the white plate. Using the green spatula, make a vertical cut separating the gel into two pieces of approximately equal size. The cut should carefully separate the gel between lanes 5 and 6. Gently cut the stacking gel away from the resolving gel. Discard the stacking gel. Cut a notch in the lower left hand corner of both gel halves. Your cut gels should look something like this. Using the green spatula, place the resolving gel half number 1 into the appropriately labeled container. The gel tears easily, so use the water squirt bottle to provide a steady stream on the spatula. A film of water will form between the spatula and gel, allowing you to transfer it easily. Take the gel over to the fume hood and add just enough Kamasi Blue dye to cover the gel. Place the dish containing Kamasi Blue solution with gel half number one carefully onto the rotary shaker and set it to provide a gentle agitation. This concludes this video. The other remaining gel half will be used in electroblotting.